Hello and welcome to Textless. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get your files back if your drive won't mount on macOS. So let's go. Alright, so obviously if you unplug a drive on OS X or macOS, you're going to get a message that looks something like this, saying that the drive was removed without being um, unmounted first. So sometimes you just don't pay attention, you think oh, it won't affect me at all, until one day you get this unfortunate message which tells you that the disk is not readable by the Mac. So for this I'll show you how you can retrieve the files if this happens to you. So um, this is my one terabyte hard drive. Um, I just kept unplugging it without ejecting and it eventually did this. So we'll hit initialize and I'll show you what the disk will look like. So this is it, one terabyte uninitialized right now. So you can see it's found no petitions or anything there. Um, I've got my USB and um, my other hard drive but there's nothing mounted here. So make sure you do not erase this. Um, Alright, so there's a number of tools you can get. There's ones that are paid as well as the ones you can do it just for free. So for this one we'll be using a free tool. Um, I'll have it in the description. We will launch it by typing in all these you saw Mac data recovery. So you'll need to enter an admin password to start the program. And the program will launch. Alright, so we'll just hide disk utility. And you've got four options. A deep scan, an unformat, an undelete, and a fast scan. So I'm just going to press fast scan for this one. Uh, there's also a set of options here for you to choose from. Um, so you want to look for your hard drive. We have here uh, deep dish Mac OS is the petition or drive that I want the files off. So we'll click start search and it will just show a little animation up there while it hunts down the files. So you just need to give it a few minutes maybe. Um, this is quite a fast drive when it comes to finding the files. So we'll just give it a couple of seconds and it's done. So you can see that was very quick. Uh, depending on the speed of your drive it's not going to be that quick. I tried it with the USB and it was not nearly as fast. It took me around 7 or so minutes to find 7 gigabytes and stuff. However that was a deep scan so it's obviously going to take longer. So you can see here we it's listing the petition so we just press this and press this and you can see it's found the uh, Mac OS install. So depending on what you want to restore you can go into certain folders hunting it down so you can just um, click on this to get a specific folder or you can then click on this to restore the entire disk. So we'll just give it a sec. So you get all those files back. Um, I did notice, however, some of these um, hidden files don't seem to restore, um, and you'll get an error saying, like, "For me, it's about seven thousand files could not be restored." So yeah. Um, those won't restore with it, I found out. So what we can do though, is assuming you found the files here, you can press save files. It'll pop up with a window where you can save files. So I'm going to data recovery, just go new folder and type in um, macOS and then you press choose and this will pop up um, and it will basically let you know how long you're going to have to wait until all the files have been restored and once you're done um, in the folder which you've sent all the files to it will 
it'll have all the files there so I've already done this so I'll just hit cancel yes I want to stop recovering the files yes click exit and then um, if we go to finder open you up macOS so this is all the files that you've recovered so seeing I stopped it it's only going to restore a few things however I've done a full restore of it already in I believe this one and you can see all my files are waiting there so my thing uh, the file should launch as well if we go to applications um, I don't think I had any apps actually stored in that folder so we'll head to the root there we go um, so you can see all the stock macOS apps won't launch but let's try um, try and launch Pico Pixel and it can't be opened so by the looks of it this may be something that might not work you might not be able to get your apps back you'll probably just have to instead go in and um, look at the apps you need to re-download and then download them again off the internet because if we go into say after effects and yeah the apps don't launch so just to make sure that it's only the applications we'll just go to users me uh, let's launch desktop um, let's launch a PNG file make sure it works yep they launch um, I've got a PlayStation or PlayStation logo also working fine um, let's see what else we have so we've got all the screenshots there and yeah um, let's take a look at a few documents to make sure they're all working because it would be pretty horrible if I just made this video without them actually working so let's open the DMG file and yes so the DMG will work let's try the installer and yes the install launches as well so the DMG seems unharmed um, let's try video Let's launch this and make sure the videos play. And by the looks of it, it's okay. Um, let's try opening a SVG file with graphic. And just give it a second to load. Um, and yes, you can see it does in fact load the file again so yes um, we don't want to close that uh, I'll lose all my data again alright so as you can see um, the files will work however um, you might have a few, run into a few problems I'll just actually flick back to finder try and open a pages document to make sure they're all intact so let's search up I don't know whether I've actually got any on here File me uh, dot pages. I don't know. Looks like they're intact. Um, note taking dot pages. Let's open this up. I imagine that'd be on. Yes, it does look like it. Yep, there you go. It's um, stored on there. So we can close out of that and as you can see the document has opened fine so yeah um also this program um it did not work for me when i went to um find files i deleted all right so i'm just going to end it there um you can run these other options if you need to um We'll cover anything else other than just an unmounted disc. Alright, so hopefully this tool works for you. Um, it should, as long as you have a disc that's like mine, it just um, won't mount on macOS, for instance.
you head to disk utility, I'll show you again. Um, it's just uninitialized in there. So yeah, I hope I could help you uh, getting your data back. Um, there are other tools out there. Um, for Windows, it might be a bit different. Um, I won't be able to do this because it's a Mac OS drive. And yeah. And there's probably going to be a number of uh, tools out there that you can get because it's Windows. There's a lot more applications for this kind of stuff. But anyway, I uh, hope you could get your files back. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, follow us on social media for updates, and I'll see you next time.